Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the top five tips to improve in the new game mode basketball. So if you guys might not have seen it already, I did a montage on my second channel. I highly recommend to watch that because I made some really epic plays. But a lot of people are asking me how I'm actually able to consistently score and do well in basketball. So I'll be giving you guys the best five tips. So before we get into today's video, make sure you're using the credit code if you're looking to pick up anything in the shop. Mine would be greatly appreciated. So without further ado, Let's jump into the tips. All right, guys, so jumping into tip number one, which is going to be to always shoot from the bottom right corner uh, just because it's much, much easier. So I'll try and show this in this game. I'm not using the best brawler for basketball, by the way. I wouldn't really recommend you using Mortis too much unless you want to score some nice uh, goals or whatever you call it. Or scores, two-pointers, you know. You know what I mean, but yeah, just from playing basketball in general, uh, shooting it from the right top side it's just really hard to shoot actually backwards. You can do it and, you know, it's, it can be consistent. But just by doing it, by shooting down the right bottom corner instead, it's going to be so, so much better. So I'm going to wait for this M's super to pop out. Should be able to finish, uh, oh, damn it, 112 HP. But yeah, it's so much more consistent. And I always find, I think I played uh, probably around four to five hours of basketball now just because I just love the game mode. You see most other people on the enemy side as well. I think they know this tip as well. This is a really nice free point for my uh, teammate right there. But yeah, as I say, most people, as you can see, look, there's Primo's running down that side as well. And you see this very often in the higher trophy gameplay. I'm still at like 750. I'll say this is pretty high uh, level stuff. Should be able to get this M's down. Uh, hopefully, I can't even get myself to get a scoring uh, chance here. So I'm just going to use my gadget to hopefully get into position to maybe score. Or oh, I was just about to score, but it's just really simple. Especially just shooting upwards, uh, you can just judge the movement of the basket and get some good scores. So I'm going to steal the ball here. Don't think I'm going to be able to score. Maybe I'm able to chain fast enough. Let's see. Oh, we get a team wipe. That's what you love to see. So I'm going to try and score a three pointer here. You can do it outside of a basket. So I think I might step just in. Okay, I've got a three pointer. So you can just see how easy it is to judge it. You just literally wait for the basket to move in your uh, direction. And it's just easy as long as you don't panic. As long as you've got enough HP to make the shot. I should be able to get this M's down in time. She's trying to score. I'm going to pass it over to Oz Stu because he's got super as well. Also, just a little side tip. I always just tend to pass to people that have the super kicks because you want to be scoring those three pointers. They're going to be of a different maker. So again, should be able to score. Look how easy that actually is. If you're just consistently shooting down that right-hand side, keeping the ball down that uh, right-hand side, it should be able to uh, get you a lot more wins. So this should be GG's right here. See if we're able to score again. I think I shot that a bit too much. Oh, no. Is it going in? No. Okay, yeah, I overshot that one. But yeah, anyways, that's going to be the first tip right there. Let's hop into tip number two. All right, guys. So moving on to tip number two for the new game of basket brawl would be to use the knockback brawlers. So just like my teammate has gone right here, the two biggest knockback brawlers that could be best on this game mode are Gale and Colette. You've got Gale just with his super and Colette with her push it star power it's gonna be a really good technique especially when you see so much uh well so many tanks and especially primo in the meta these brawlers are gonna be especially so good on the respawn side of things because you're just able to push them knock the ball out of their hands and buy your teammates enough time especially due to the fact that you don't have much ammo like when respawning you only have a third of ammo just that super being able to have that from the respawn is just really really good because obviously you don't have to wait to shoot it off. You just got super straight away. You're just able to push them back. That's what I'm trying to say. Hopefully, our Shelly's able to score. Okay, you love to see it. Randoms again, a little bit better at scoring. I will admit, I will admit. So, triple to chain our super here. Just look how easy it is to just push them back like this. I'm just spamming it all to him. Just two shots and a super will kill every single brawler inside of a game. And the thing with Colette as well, while she's so good, I don't really see many squishy brawlers. So, she's going to get so much value against these higher hp brawlers that cole might be able to score okay just look at that play just gale pushing him back making sure he can get the ball control i'm just gonna super this <laughs> ross right here see if we can get a ball here i'm two shots off my super and just look at this chain it is unreal oh if he didn't have his bubble there i could have probably changed my super again Shelly, she's going for it but yeah just in general i think people really know this one because I've kind of been, well, I've been seeing a lot of these type of brawlers in the game. A lot of people recommending these brawlers. And I for sure know, I hear it. I know these brawlers are pretty good. I don't think I'm going to be able to score this. I may as well just go for it anyways. But yeah, that's going to be tip number two. Hopefully we can finish off this game with a dub. Nice. Even like a Shelly super. Like, Shelly's a lot better than other brawlers because her super is just going to knock the ball out of enemy's hands. Also, the slow feature is going to be really, really important. That's probably like another side tip on this one. Uh, brawlers were like slow stun 
uh, knockback features are just going to be really good. That's why I've seen a lot of B right now, because just her slowing effects, being able to get down the enemies much quicker. So I'm just going to knock back this M's here. She's about to suck my super fast enough again. Okay, our Gale is going hammer. Just look look at the amount of time it just buys like you and your teammate as well, especially a Gale super. Gale super basically push, pushes them all the way back off the map. So I'm going to heal up here. Wait for them to make the play, and I should be able to push them back in time. He's going for the play. Oh, we're able to just do enough to buy us enough time and hopefully win the game. Oh, that was probably going in towards the end as well. But yeah, that's going to be tip number two right there. Let's hop into tip number three. All right, guys. So going into tip number three is to use brawlers with faster reloads. So I was going to use El Primo, but again, it's just a brawler that everyone basically uses. So I don't think there's any hidden kind of tip with that because he's got everything he's got a knockback he's got a fast reload he's got a high hp he's got every he's basically made for this mode so that's probably like tip number six to use el primo <laughs> but anyways going into b well like b you got b carl um other brawlers that just have really fast reloads like nita like primo can't really think of any brawlers top of my head like i think edgar's got a really fast reload like edgar is actually surprisingly pretty decent on this mode you want a fast reload brawlers because you're going to be dying a lot of the times in basket brawl and uh, just off of respawn those fast reload brawlers a well especially uh, when you're dying they're about to score a basket or whatever just having that fast reload having a reload available and ready to uh do something against them is gonna be really good and especially uh considering you're gonna get a third of your ammo as well like even these brawlers that don't have a fast reload they're gonna shoot that one ammo just like just think of the pipers and the brooks they're gonna shoot that one ammo and they're not gonna be able to reload for such a long time i was trying out piper and brock a lot yesterday and it was just the same results no matter what combination we faced even when we faced like a complete counter comp like for example we're facing like a lot of bees or a lot of other brawlers that we could consistently take down on other game modes on this one just one death is enough to punish you and keep you in spawn you literally can't kill anyone with piper uh if they're in your spawn constantly in your face you're just going to be taking like a million deaths so yeah so the third tip use those fast reload brawlers make use of low ammo uh, when the enemy dies and you're going to be golden so hopefully we can finish off this game with a dub as well we've been doing pretty decent so far i've not really been trying too much and i think we've had a good success rate i think we scored two or even one so far this mortis is going for it oh nice We're able to finish him off in time maybe a gale i was hoping he could super kick it. i don't know why he kicked it over there uh but that's whatever he wants okay he's going for the super kick will he get it in of course not because he's a random and they never do anything good but I don't think unless they score two, they need to score two goals here. So four points. There's no point going for a three pointer as well in this situation. You kind of got to assess that as well. Uh, there's really no point whatsoever going for a three point. You may as well go for a safe two pointer when you're like four goes four goals down, because regardless whether you get a three pointer or not, um, you're obviously going to be losing if you don't score two baskets at all. So that's going to be the third tip right there. Let's hop into tip number four. All right, guys. So the next number, well, tip number four is for the shooting mechanics. So the people that are kind of struggling to score it consistently. So I think this is pretty obvious, but honestly, people just aren't getting the gist of shooting. So for me to make sure to time it right. So if the basket is moving away from you, obviously you want to shoot the ball longer. And if it's moving towards you, you want to be cutting that shot a little bit shorter. So I kind of got to judge it by that way it's kind of like hard to really give pure examples on it i'll try and show it whilst uh i well if he passes me the ball here i should be able to score it he's gonna go for it there oh my god there's no way wow we actually got a three pointer from there that is quite brave especially shooting from the middle You've gotta give him props for that but like as i was saying you kind of get a gist of it once uh you constantly think about this and kind of improve your shots you're going to be realizing what you're doing wrong and how you're going to be scoring in the next time like you obviously can't uh expect to be scoring every single basket straight away like it took me about an hour to really get consistent at it like as soon as i picked it up i was terrible at it because i was like well this game mode's dumb i just can't score it's constantly not going in but trust me once you start to learn how to shoot consistently i think it's i won't really say it's easy but it's definitely a lot better than people are making out so far so i'm gonna use my super here hopefully gail doesn't push us back too far we're getting a lot of value with this hype star power though I think Jesse's going to kill us. Why can't any of our teammates give us the ball? I mean, they're going to... Another three-pointer. Wow. Wow. These guys have got the shooting down to a T. They're able to get two consistent three-pointers here. Hopefully, again, they pass to us. One pass me the ball here. Pass me the ball. I want to give a good example, guys. Come on. Stop ball hogging. Okay. I don't think he's going to be able to score here. 
So we're going to go for here. So you can see here, it's moving away from me. I'm trying to shoot it a little bit further. I do end up missing there. Uh, but obviously, when I'm shooting like down here, you want to be making sure that you're judging where it's moving towards you. So if it's more moving towards me, I'm going to leave it a little bit short. And moving further away, you want to either super kick it or uh, make sure you're getting a lot of distance on that shoot. So yeah, probably not got the best uh examples in this game but i think over time over the gameplay that i've provided you probably have seen me do these tips so uh 10 seconds left this should be an easy dub for us i'm just gonna walk up here just a jesse in my sight i'm gonna knock her back as well and just like here it's moving towards me so i'm gonna miss again i just know i am yep that's not gonna go in but you've seen that i was trying to make it uh fall a little bit short so it'll try and go in so yeah that's gonna be tip number four Let's hop into tip number five. All right, guys. So jumping into the fifth and final tip. I've probably said a lot more tips than actual five, uh, but this is going to be the fifth main one that you've got to consider. So uh, for me, a lot of the times I will not have super and, you know, I need a three pointer. So uh, a lot of the times, oh, I actually nearly scored. But I didn't even mean to. So I've got my super here. But uh, what you need to know as well, you do not need to have super to get a three pointer. So I'll try and give an example. I already did it in my first game. I scored a three pointer outside of a zone uh but like you gotta wait until the uh basket is away from you so probably be able to get a good one here so you can see here i'm outside it's moving towards me that should be okay i completely choked that 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 should have easily been a three pointer right there but <laughs> you kind of seen the gist of it you can actually shoot well get that three points when the basket is actually moving towards you i don't think there's any other way i'm not too sure whether you can actually i've not seen a three point on without super shot in the middle but i know for a fact that um uh, from the lanes you can get that three pointer so i'm going to jump on everyone here should be able to suck my supers in time this bell is pretty toxic with this uh mark and that was actually a kind of decent ruler uh, especially with the marks against the tanks you're able to take them down much quicker that should be a goal by the frank okay does completely choke that i'm close to super here so i can just actually walk into these guys feeding me my super and you guys are going to go down look at that nice and easy sp going to go down there i'm just going to jump on the bell as well because why not and hopefully our teammates pass to us. I mean, he's spinning. I, don't, I think he's going to miss this. Yeah, he's going to completely fail that. Frank, he's going to go for it as well. Okay, he completely misses that as well. He's going to go for the stun. So I'm going to try and get a three-pointer outside of it here. So let's just see. It's moving towards me now. This should be an easy basket. No. Okay, I choked it again. I choked it again. <laughs> see, when I, when I try, I don't actually get it in. When I'm trying, uh, I'm just speaking it not in existence. But if I was to do this off camera, you guys have got a gist. If I was to do it off camera, I'd be able to do it every single time. But it's just literally because I'm speaking about it, I can't do it. But 30 seconds left, maybe we're able to get a free pointer outside. Knows Frank with a nice stun. Oh, wow. He got, only got two points for that. So I'm just going to get the ball here and hopefully just jump down that right hand side and get this free pointer. Okay, I kind of forgot the ball there. Sandy, give me the ball back. I need this ball to prove that I can do it. Come on give me this ball nice okay might be able to get it here let's see oh oh two points i just missed it i was just panicking there because i was about to die but forgot to get it in uh but i think a lot of people do know this tip but uh not everyone knows this tip a few only a few people have actually commented this and i kind of already knew it so i just want to make you guys aware that you can score outside of the zone so yeah that's going to be it for today's video hope you enjoyed this one let me know of what other tips you can think of in the comment section below did i cover it pretty well i thought i did but yeah that's going to be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time